All right, we'll go ahead and open this uh, board of commission the, uh, a public hearing. And this will be on the abolishment and withdrawal support from the libraries. This is on October 13, 2014, right here in the Corinth County Courthouse Auditorium. Uh, first item on the agenda is that public hearing. And Danny, if you could uh, give us an idea of what's going on. This is sort of a unique situation that we've never done before. It, it is unique, however, we have done it before. We uh, have. You haven't. Uh, <laughs> but we did close our libraries previously in 2007 with withdrawal funding, and we were required to go through this process as well. So just uh, by way of explanation, on May 20th of 2014, a majority of the voters of Jackson County did vote to establish the Jackson County Library District that's governed by a separate elected board of directors. As part of the vo vote to establish the district, the voters voted to enact, enact a new property tax levy dedicated to support the Jackson County Library System. Permanent rate limit uh, on the property tax levy is 60 cents per thousand. Because the Jackson County Library System now has a board of directors and a dedicated source of funding, Jackson County no longer is needed to provide ongoing funding for the operation of the library system. Pursuant to ORS 357-621, Prior to withdrawing support for a library, the Board of Commissioners is required to conduct a public hearing twice to take public comment. This is the second of those two requirements for a hearing. The first was done on July 14th of 2014. Uh, after taking public comment, the uh, Board of Commissioners may vote to abolish or withdraw the county's financial support for operations of the Jackson County Library System. Jackson County, as you know, does still own the buildings. Uh, which constitute the library system as well as the books, computers, and other personal property used as part of the library system. Therefore, the county will still be an integral partner in providing library services through the Jackson County Library System. Mr. Chair, I want to, this uh, issue has a lot of nuances that make it complex, and I'm going to try to explain it simply. Essentially, when I proposed the budget prior to the election, um, I informed the board that we should have a budget in place should the district pass so that we don't have to do a supplemental budget and it's as approved, the expenditures are approved as part of our budget, intending that the revenues we received from the district, if they chose to contract to continue services with us, would pay those costs. I did also tell the board at the time that our fund balance had grown significantly and that if the board were, actually let me back up, I informed the budget committee, not just the board, uh, that if the budget committee were to choose to use one-time reserve funds that they could do that if the levy were to fail. Um, the budget committee at the time indicated essentially that if the levy failed, they would convene again and determine whether they were going to move forward with their course of action that they recommended from the previous year, which was essentially to close all branches, but Medford, I believe. Um, so this, is a, this hearing is a requirement um, if we're withdrawing or abolishing support. We started this process prior to having a contract in place with the new library board for services, so we didn't know at the time we started this process that we would have revenue from the district because they could have chose to do any number of things in terms of delivering the service. But we did this so that then the county wouldn't be accountable for uh, the cost of facilita facilitating the ongoing library services while that contract was being negotiated. Essentially, uh, at this point, the county is no longer withdrawing or abolishing support, although I do recommend you continue with the hearing. What's happening instead is that the county general fund or reserve isn't funding this. Now the library district is contracting with the county. So our budget's still in place. We're not withdrawing funding. We're just getting the funding from a different source than our reserve. We're getting it from the library district. Um, and essentially this will allow, you know, uh, the county to remain involved um, until the library district transitions. So you understand uh, this is with relation to budget authority and so this isn't something that would need to be done every year. It just needs to be done now because in the current year you did adopt a budget that if the library district hadn't passed, you would have had to fund unless you withdrew or abolished support. And so uh, next year, for example, when the budget committee meets, they may choose to not fund the libraries at all. That's not withdrawing 
or abolishing support is setting the baseline of funding, which by law happens in our county every once a year, fiscal year. And I'm willing to answer any questions if you have any. I do have a question. Uh, Danny, the order we're dealing with today, 218-14, did we approve that before at our uh, July meeting? Do we approve it today? Well, it's your choice whether you want to approve it or I mean, not. Our vote on it. Um, essentially, what, what I'm telling you is you may vote yes on that order that says we're withdrawing or abolishing support, but we're not technically because the library district is now providing the support that they weren't providing at the time you held the first public hearing because we didn't have a contract in place. So we had to do this procedurally to meet the requirements of law in case anything didn't uh, materialize in terms of contracting for service with the district. Um, so the order, uh, if you do pass it, even if it says that you're abolishing support, you're technically not because you've on in another action, separate from the budget process for the county, entered into a contractual agreement with the district to receive the money to do the services. So it's two different things, and that's why I said it's a little complex, and I'm trying to make it as simple as I can, but that's what happened. So however we vote, yes or no, does it mean the same thing? Well, my opinion, as I just said, was that I don't believe that this is relevant anymore to the extent that we're not withdrawing or abolishing support. However, it is relevant in how that support is being provided. The support is no longer being provided by the general fund reserve, or our rainy day fund, as a lot of people call it. It's instead being provided by a contract where the county will receive revenue from the district. And I think it's important for the public to understand the difference, uh, obviously, and so I, I, so I recommend you continue with, with the hearing. Uh, if, if you were to pass the order, I likely would state on the record that this is with relation to the intent of the county of having to fund this from the general fund versus now the library district is funding it. And that's just a circumstance that changed from your first hearing to your second hearing. No further questions. We're going to go ahead and open up the, uh, the public hearing on this particular issue. If, would anybody like to speak? Hearing none, we'll go ahead and close the public hearing on the withdrawal funds of the library libraries and move into deliberations. Commissioner. Uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, unless you see a problem with this, is I'm going to uh, move, I'm not moving yet, that we uh, we approve this order, uh, but then add in there that uh, uh, two, two uh, we're going to approve this order withdrawing support of the library from the general fund. Does that make sense? It does. <laughs> can, can, I, can I just... Sure. So technically, legally, what I wouldn't do is necessarily change the order. I would just state on the record your intent, and here's why. This really isn't still abolishing support from the general fund either, because the revenue we receive from the district is going to go into the general fund to pay for oh, yeah. the services we're okay. delivering. Okay. I'll make it simple. Mr. Chair, Vice Chair, I move we approve order number 218-14. I'll second that to open discussion. And then, uh, for a yeah. Like, you can't really have discussion unless you have a second, technically. But um, I, I agree with the order, but I might, when I vote on it, it'll be with the intent that it's no longer pulled from the general fund and that the library district itself pays the county to be able to maintain services for the library. So if the district chooses to stop that at any point or something changes, then that the order would still be in effect from the general fund. I would agree with that. Which I also think is a very important point because we do have an option for the district to terminate our contract with 90 days notice and we would have to do this process again if you didn't pass the order if that were to occur. Right. That's the way I understood it. So that's, this is the intent so it does not come out of the general fund though the library district is the that the voters have put in that the case for the libraries from this point forward. Any other discussion? No, no more discussion for me. Roll call, please. Commissioner Asher? Yes. Commissioner Brainfall? Yes. Well, 
And I think that concludes this hearing. And thank you for all those in attendance. I know it was short, brief, and I think those are learned something today because I know everybody typically does. Thank you very much. Meeting adjourned.